Pikit is a 3D vision solution company that was founded in Belgium in 2016. And in 2021, Pikit Korea established a branch to continue its business. The robotic vision that Pikit focuses on is essentially about giving robots the ability to see, enabling them to perform tasks that were previously impossible, and guiding them to execute operations with even greater precision than humans. This is what the robotic vision guidance solution is all about. Originally, we started as a software company. However, in the process of delivering that software, hardware is absolutely necessary for operation. You can't just give software to a robot. In order to give it eyes, you ultimately need to capture or recognize visual elements. So we chose 3D Vision. Another important point is that this 3D Vision technology is quite difficult. The company's goal was to provide an optimized UI so that robot engineers could utilize the 3D Vision solution without having to program or write code as it was difficult for them to use directly. First, I think it will be quite similar to explaining the background of Pickett's birth. There was not a lack of existing 3D vision or 3D technology. However, the process of how to apply it to the robot and how easily it can be utilized was somewhat difficult. It took a very long time for the robot and 3D vision systems to be integrated and for them to evolve into systems that can be operated appropriately by engineers or unskilled workers. What I wanted to do the most was beam picking in robot automation. The technology for beam picking was very difficult to implement. Since it is necessary to provide a platform that also considers environmental factors, the accessibility of robotic guidance would likely have been easier. There are many things that robotic guidance can do. For instance, it can assist in assembly or sanding. However, the process of setting these up requires that engineers come in every time to handle everything through programming. And they have to do it all over again when changing models. This is a very challenging task, especially since changing models is quite difficult. These days, with the rise of small batch production and shorter product life cycles, various challenges in manufacturing have emerged. And if we hold on to those issues, people will not use our solutions. On the contrary, it is a solution that allows customers to check and resolve issues immediately and directly, which is why the UI and UX are highly optimized, making it particularly the most widely used. In the domestic market, Pikit has already been implemented in hundreds of units in automobile factories and similar locations. There have been many misunderstandings in the process of transitioning from 2D to 2.5D with 3D vision technology, often regarding low precision. However, that is not the case for us. Piki has verified assembly precision within plus or minus 0.5 meters in the automotive market. And this has also been validated in the assembly process for refrigerators. Recently, we are implementing a project in the aviation industry that automates the fastening of bolts using robotic guidance. While there are simpler applications in general machinery, beam picking is actually one of the most common challenges in robotic automation. Piki can be seen as the solution that can be applied and resolved the fastest. From my perspective on Piki, I see that there are various aspects that can be explored. Piki Korea has experienced good growth in the automotive industry in a short period, but it is also currently reviewing many AMR, autonomous mobile robot solutions, utilizing collaborative robots and autonomous driving robots, in particular, the semiconductor market. And these manufacturers are working to minimize conveyors and reduce higher level systems like OHT or OHSS while developing automation solutions. As a result, Environments may emerge where the AMR, Autonomous Mobile Robot, establishes its position, but the robot cannot reach the exact location. In such cases, 3D vision solutions seem capable of meeting technical limitations, and they must also provide an environment that allows for flexible and rapid development. Since we originally offered this and also provide ROS, Robot Operating System, the process of using us as a single sensor from the perspective of software integration is very flexible. We are a very open company and this allows us to develop quickly. I believe that this way customized solutions can be applied on-site for our customers. 
When an AMR, autonomous mobile robot, is tasked with lifting and working on objects, there are inevitably technical limitations that prevent it from positioning accurately. It's reasonable to recognize that this is simply a fact. It's quite difficult to expect an AMR to arrive at a precise location within 0.1 millimeters. If the robotic arm needs to position itself there, it can work within a few millimeters, and then once the robot measures and enters, it can operate accurately from that position. Just that alone will save a tremendous amount of time and the robot can handle the process of inserting. And removing the tester components from the tester, which would otherwise require carrying them around and placing them in various locations. However, it's very difficult to do things without eyes, but when you have vision, you can press buttons in the desired location and you can see whether the button has been pressed and whether it has opened or closed. I believe that this can lead us towards the automation of autonomous manufacturing. The aspect I focused on the most was that part. For this autonomous manufacturing environment to thrive, AMR, autonomous mobile robot, will eventually be activated and the roles of the robots will be defined. Then, those flexible and capable robots will be utilized. Next, both high payload and low payload will change, but to lower the payload, the weight of the robot will also need to be reduced. We provide cameras under one kilometer along with software. And if we provide the open platform ROS, robot operating system, companies that are using it can integrate it into their platform. We believe that there is significant growth potential in this area. If these aspects can be utilized in certain spaces within medium and small size manufacturing, there will be many opportunities for us to perform monitoring roles, such as updating vision data. Therefore, it seems to be a positive direction. I believe that Piki will continue to serve as a good partner for users who utilize robots or for those managing or maintaining production environments in the future just as it does now. Piki Korea will continuously serve as a partner to explain the technology to you and assist in its application. Thank you.